everybody, it's Chelsea and today I am bringing you a 20 items or less capsule wardrobe for nomads. <laughs> list into two different sections a winter and a summer section and basically you can decide how many of each item you want but this is a list of 20 things that you should definitely have at least one of some of these things are gonna seem really obvious but let's just get straight to it the first thing you're gonna need for summer is obviously a pair of good shorts I recommend having jean shorts because when I am scooting around sometimes I scoot around on my butt if I'm somewhere high up and I don't want to fall so jeans are your most durable material and I definitely recommend having a pair of those item number two definitely bring along a bathing suit I don't know where you're gonna be but you're more than likely gonna run into a body of water that you want to jump into so bring a bathing suit number three get some hiking sandals I just bought a pair of these recently because I was still trying in the desert to hike around in my boots and my feet were boiling so get a pair of hiking sandals it's worth the investment Obviously, you're gonna need some t-shirts. Doesn't matter what kind of t-shirt. Small t-shirts, big t-shirts, get some t-shirts. I personally also recommend getting a light cardigan for summer nights. Sometimes, depending on where you are, the nighttime can get a little bit cooler, or even just in the shade, you can get a little bit cooler. So always have a light cardigan. A really helpful thing I found when I have been hiking around in different parts of the desert is to have a sun hat and yes these can also be super trendy but they also really help to keep the heat off your head especially if you have really dark hair like me and the sun just kind of absorbs and makes you miserable another thing that you can wear all the time doesn't matter whether or not you're driving hiking chilling at your camp spot whatever Get a good pair of sunglasses, it protects your eyes and prevents all the, the wrinkles in the future. Get a rain jacket. April showers bring May flowers, but first you have to go through the showers. So bring a rain jacket, you're going to need it, you're going to wind up in some weather every once in a while, it doesn't matter where you drive, you can't avoid the rain sometimes, so get a rain jacket. Moving on to winter. Obviously, you at some point are going to need a really heavy winter jacket. Personally, the one that I have has two layers in it. One is removable, but I always keep both of them in there because I've been in some pretty cold climates and just get a winter jacket. Have a pair of insulated hiking boots. When you are stomping around in really cold weather, whether or not you're in the snow or what, you are going to want a really good pair of boots. Which brings me to the next thing, have wool socks. Obviously, have all your regular socks that you want, whatever, but get some really good wool socks as well because you need to keep your feet toasty when you're stomping around in snow. Avoid frostbite at all costs. You don't want to have your foot amputated. Just get some wool socks. Speaking of layering, you are definitely going to want a sweater or some type of pullover to layer underneath your big winter jacket. Sometimes you just don't know how many layers you're going to need, but better be safe than sorry and just have something to go under your winter jacket for whenever it's real cold. The last and final layer that you can have, which is also a really good investment, are thermals. These things fit under everything, so if you are wearing jeans in the winter but it's still a little bit cold, throw on some thermals underneath there and you should be good to go. Make sure that you have all the winter accessories that you need. A scarf is going to be important. A hat is going to keep your head and your ears warm. And some gloves are going to keep your hands warm. So make sure you have all three of those things as well. And then we get to the final group of clothes, I guess, that you might need in the winter or summer. Always have a good pair of jeans that is a given no matter if it's summer or winter 
whatever the case may be, always have a good pair of pants. Again, whether or not it's summer or winter, you are also going to need clothes to sleep in. So make sure you bring some comfy clothes that you can change into when the night is ending. pair of really casual shoes that you can just slip on when you're walking around the campsite. It's always good to have the hiking shoes, it's always good to have hiking sandals, but you're going to want something really easy that you can just slip on and walk around the camper or go into town with. Speaking of going into town, you may or may not want to every once in a while go out and have a nice dinner or go to a place that's a little bit nicer than what you're used to. Always have a button down or some dress or whatever that you can just change into whenever you decide that you want those special nights. Last but not least, always carry a backpack. Doesn't matter if you're hiking or going into town or whatever, have your stuff on you at some point. I mean, if you're a traveler, it's just you're gonna know how good it feels to have all of your important stuff attached to you all the time so if you're leaving your camper or you're leaving your vehicle or wherever and you're hiking around have a backpack that you can carry your stuff with so that covers everything on my list i'm sure there are things that you can add and things that you can take away from it but these are the top 20 things that i have found the most important since i've been traveling on the road like i said i've been through several different climates whether or not it's desert or the snow in the Rocky Mountains, I have, think I have a pretty good scale of what you might need. You guys might note that I did not include underwear in this list and that's because I feel like that's a given and if it's not a given, get yourself some underwear. I know this was a short one you guys, but thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with my travel vlogs or if you are interested in my nomad tips. I try to put out weekly videos and I hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time.